Okay. So good morning, you guys. Um, we've started to record, so we're on recording. I want to just share one. I just want to put a disclaimer on it. I am not a CPA. I am not schooled in this. I am computer uh, Google trained right now. And that's, that's what I'm trying to do is just help you as your assistant figure out um, best, pa best paths and um, best paths and trying to share with you your options. And then really you're gonna have to decide on those options. But these are options that we've worked through for about a month in trying to find. And that there has been a lot of um, sharing as far as what you, there might not be the funding that you thought there was and, and maybe you don't know anything about it and you're just now putting your head into it. But, um, and a lot of people are coming out of the pandemic too, which is exciting, but scary, right? We have all that situation. So, uh, so the things I wanted to share with you this morning, I think you have some options. There's something called PPP loan. There's something called SBA.gov loan. That's the, that's the EI, let's see, EIDL, economic something um, disaster loan. I would, if you go to sba.gov, you'll see it. And then the other things that I think are options that people aren't realizing is unemployment. In Michigan, if we make less than 50% of our income that we were making, we can apply for unemployment. If you apply for unemployment, um, you will get whatever your state allows, but the other thing you're gonna get is you're going to get the pandemic unemployment insurance, and that adds $600 a week to your check. So that could be not only for you, but it could be something for your consultants that they may not even be thinking of. Um, knowing all I know now, uh, for the PPP loan for a corporation, it was a great situation for us. I don't know. I, I've called the SBA a number of times and they have told me that you're eligible as an independent contractor, 1099, you are eligible to apply. Um, I'm just sharing with you what I was told. When I talked to the SBA agent, he said, it's up to the banker if they make that choice or not. And I know that some, I have heard, people are staying in touch with me, which I love because it's keeping me up to speed to share with you too. But um, the PPP loan is to pay your payroll and you are part of your payroll. So on my website, if you guys, head over to unitassistant.com and you'll notice that's having a lot of changes right now. We're making great strides actually in our whole system. So it's easier flow, it is um, easier to use, but on there you'll see something called the pink post. So Taylor came up with that idea for, it's kind of like a little newspaper type thing for you all to just stay in the know. And there's a section in there that talks about COVID. And so in that we have um, Ari Hathaway did a video and uh, there's a couple videos of different people who have tried to get this information out to the directors. Um, and she also explains how you, you take your 1099 divide it into 12 and that's, you know, that's the expected payroll for you just based on your 1099 that's not even and really counting your sales. Um, and I know this is not organized, so I apologize. There really is no way to organize this. It is kind of a free for all, right? So the best way you can handle this is to call your banker. And I think bankers are confused right now on what Mary Kay is. I, I think your accountant gets it, but your banker doesn't always get it. And they, some of them are thinking that Mary Kay pays you, so go apply for unemployment. Some of them are not going to touch a one-person PPP. It's just, they get, I think, 7%, and I could be wrong on that amount, but they get a certain percentage of these loans for their bank. 
So that's why you're seeing them. I believe that's why you're seeing them handle the bigger people, right? Because they're the money is better for the bank. So, um, but if we could, you know, if we can share one person, if you know somebody and he's willing to take on new people and he understands Mary Kay, I feel like, or she, I feel like that would be a really, if they have, you know, a hundred of those, then it's worth it. It's, you know, you've got to, you've got to go to your banker and ask him. And because if you read these papers, which I have, I have read, I have studied these rules, rules and regulations. Um, these rules and regulations that came from the Federal Register, I personally feel there's no, there's nothing in here saying an MLM cannot apply. But that's what a lot of people are being told, is Mary Kay is an MLM and you are not eligible. And um, so I think the best point the best way is to point you back to your banker and have that conversation with the bank and just try to get them to understand what you really have here. Uh, you all do a ton of work and do you just, you have your own businesses. Some of you, I talked with one director yesterday, she's been in business 40 years, you know? So I just feel like this, it's crazy if you can't get this, but that, that PPP loan is based on payroll and what was suggested from that video, which is on my site, is go to basically get your 1099, divide it in 12, and that would be provable, right? The other thing you can do is get your taxes. And uh, yesterday, who did I talk to? Oh, um, Jennifer Wall shared with me. She has a banker cousin and... Um, well, let me not read. I don't know. I don't know if it was her. So don't Yeah, But somebody said uh, a schedule C, look on your schedule C and see if you have employees. Like I can be counted as your employee. If, if, you, if you're, if you're with me, and I think most of you are on here. Um, I know we invited a few others, but uh, so you could count us as an employee. So that money that gives you two employees, right? Yourself and, and, um, and us. So then you just have to figure out. And I don't know, you should not have to 1099 me is the only thing I think about on that because we're a corporation. So there's no need to do that. But I just want you to know if he needs to do that, send the paperwork, you know. Um, we're a little lagged in our filing anyhow, so it can come over and, and it'll be fine. It's not gonna mess up anything on our side. So. Okay, so the SB, so that's the PPP loan. The SBA loan is another one. And after you apply, they're going to send you a code. Now, these are not open yet, but they're going to open. I've been watching it last night. I got up this morning at five ish, checked it, nothing there. And um, it's going to open, but I bet you they're going to wait until they get what they have in, in, in for claims or. And then they're going to look at the mass amount of money and they're going to pro they're going to see how long they want to leave that window open. I think that's how they're going to handle it because they're not going to, I, I don't think they'll be coming back for another round of stimulus. That's my personal opinion. I don't think we're going to see that. This one was honestly way too hard to get through. They took too long. They knew about this a week or maybe even two weeks ago that they were going to run out of money. So, um, so anyhow, once you go to that website, and I'm going to look to see if I have, I thought I pre-saved the um, application, and if I did, I'll post it on my website so you know the questions that it's going to ask, and then you can get ready with all those answers so when it goes up. Um, when this happened, what was interesting is, and they may do this again, what was interesting is I had gotten all my information in on the sba.gov page, and I had typed it all in, and I was just waiting because I wasn't sure if I could do both, because you can do the PPP and the SBA one. You actually can do both, and but I didn't know that, so I was in talks with my lawyers and had called my accountant, and um, and then once we knew we could do that, I went in to hit the button to apply and they had taken the online form off. So I had lost it all. So that was a bit frustrating, but 
I, and they had a button to print it, fill it out and upload it. But then when, after I got that pretty much done, I went back in and they had the forms back up. So they must have fixed the website or done whatever they needed. So I will look to see if I have, if I have saved the printable version. I usually do that just out of habit. And if I did, you'll find it in that pink post. So um, I haven't looked for it yet. But what's gonna happen with them, now we got two stories the other day, a director called and she got that you could apply for the SBA.gov, but you could only get a thousand dollars per employee on the SBA.gov one. Um, and he said to her, and you'll count as one employee, so you could get the grant of a thousand dollars. When I called, I got a guy and he said, absolutely, you can apply, and the first 10,000 would be a grant. So I did explain to him how Mary Kay worked because I have a corporation. So I knew I would be eligible for the grant. And what and I did get an email from the SBA.gov and that grant said I would be granted the 10,000 and then they also give you an additional 15,000 to help your business stay in business. But that is not what he told me for Mary Kay. He told me that the first 10,000 would be a grant. Now that is not what um, Farrell Norton got, that it would be a thousand per person. So it's very confusing right now. And I am just curious if anybody has gotten anything. If, if anybody on here wants to share that, please unmute yourself because we're doing all this work to fill all this paperwork out for you guys, right? And it's a little frustrating, I think. But in the meantime, if you have lost wages, fill these out. But if you have lost wages, go over, I would suggest, would be my suggestion, <laughs> to go over to unemployment and check that out. I'll share my experience with my unemployment for my husband. He has a business. He's a, he's a sole proprietor. He, he does printing for our local community. And what he, um, what we did for him is we applied for unemployment for him and listed himself as his employer. Because the back end systems of unemployment are not set up for business yet, uh, I just thought that was the best way to get him in the system. And it did decline him. He immediately went to decline because he has no history. He doesn't pay quarterlies. He just pays at the end of the year. It's not really that huge of a business, but since we have the printers, he does it. So then what happened is they triggered back an email to him, or maybe we just went in and checked it. And there was something called PU, PUI at the top and it said, you're eligible for PUI. So we clicked on that and that was a, a kind of a blanket statement. And it said, um, it said, you, have, you are eligible for PUI and you're eligible for, like he would get $170 on unemployment unless I wanted to, um, unless I wanted to, add, unless I wanted to argue it and I didn't have time to argue it. So we took the 170 and then he got the 600 a week on top of that. So he's getting 770 a week. So to me, that was just, you know, a no brainer, but you might have to fool their system a little to get yourself in there, you know, because they're not going to be set up for normally you cannot draw unemployment if you are a, if you're a sole proprietor or self employed or 1099 you generally can't draw unemployment on that kind of thing, but um, I think Trump. I think Trump trumped it, really. I think like he made it so you ha they, ha they had to allow that. The other thing that we experienced in my office too is I had a, a pretty um, lower waged worker. She didn't have enough in her quarter to get her money because you have to make so much in a quarter. She, was, she missed it by $100. So, so they denied her initially, but Michigan, and I don't know if all states are doing this, came back to her and said it didn't matter what she made in the quarter, as long as she had worked and drawn 
So a lot of your consultants, this might help them because they may not be working full time or just have worked a little bit. I think that's being waived at the state level. But, um, you know, you have to go to unemployment, fill out that, and then they'll let you know how that whole thing works. So those are really the, the main things. The one I sent out yesterday, um, that one is gone. The chamber one that had $5,000 per person, that one's completely irrelevant now. They sent me an email and said, um, and I don't, I don't expect them to get any more funding. That's like a personal thing. The other thing though, I would definitely check because at the local level here, we had a million dollars appropriated for each region. And so the region then took all the businesses in our region and divided it up and said, okay, Osceola County gets this much and Kent County gets this much. And so call your local development authority guy, girl, and just see if there's anything available to you locally. I sit on the DDA in our community. And so I get a lot of those emails of what's going on locally, but you can usually find a local SBA, um, like a, you know, kind of, it's usually statewide. Ours is in Grand Rapids. So just, you know, reach out and look at, at those things. Anybody have a question? Yes, I've got a question. It's Gary Morissette. I'm Marsha Morissette's Hi, husband. And we've applied for unemployment. Can you do both the PPP and unemployment? Yeah, that's my understanding from my lawyer. The PPP, it, when it does come through, um, you'd want to look at that and pull people back. Or, or it, you know, another thing is, it just depends how many employees you've got. So, some of our employees are still um, off. We have them on salary. So it's paying that salary and then it's also helping with our development right now. But um, yeah, I, it's my understanding until you get that PPP, you could apply for unemployment. And I, I'm not, I couldn't tell you who told me that, but that's, that's what I was told. So you can't have both concurrently then? Only well, I don't one, think you should. Until one pays and then you have to stop yeah, that that's, yeah. And I would check with your um, lawyer and check with your accountant on that too. But um, that's my, because our payroll is not as high. So I guess I would just go back to the lawyer and, and the accountant, probably for sure your accountant, because they're going to, they should be aware of all those rules too. I've checked with our accountant and they're, it's, we're good. So um, the PPP could be, ours did move very quickly though, I, but I was fast on it. Like the day we heard, we laid off everybody and just went home and we're still doing your work. We still have it covered, but, um, but we're just doing it differently. And, and so I was, I was, you know, these kind of things you have to jump on if you're going to get that funding. That's just, how it is, but um, I, I would check with the accountant and lawyer and, and see, but it, it took about seven days, seven days to get the approval. I think if you can just make that connection with the banker and they understand what your business is, I just don't think they're understanding that you guys are sole proprietors and that you count. Because when you read these rules and regulations on this, and I'll, get this posted on the website. See, it's very detailed. And, you know, it says, um, you know, to sole proprietors, it talks about like on page 208.13, just when you guys do get this, 208.13 on the top in the middle, um, it says that independent contractors have the ability to apply for a PPP loan on their own. So they do. So in my case, it said that I couldn't count my, my 1099 people because 
she had the ability to go and apply for her own PPP loan. So, you know, why they're saying that you guys don't count is crazy to me. But I'll get these up on the website, even if I have to scan. I don't know where I found this. It come off from something. And well, just, just, to, uh, just to add to the confusion, if, if you um, Google SBA and MLM, you'll get the SBA's determination that uh, multi-level marketing people are not eligible for a loan. I did look that up because Marsha had shared that with me and and it is on a, it is on a website that website when I looked it up is that website connected to SBA because I couldn't find that yeah it is it's uh, SBA 7a loans eligible and ineligible that's their web address yeah right but right. if but you go I just to Googled SBA MLN, just those letters, mm -hmm. and it brought it, brought it, you go, it goes right to it. Yeah. So, uh, but this may be based upon previous, uh, before the virus thing, you know, before yeah. self employed could... people were allowed to uh, or were eligible. Yeah, so, and that could this be. Is dated, I think this is dated, yeah. You know, doesn't really say, but it's like, it's not current, let's put it that way. So that may have been the uh, SBA rules prior to the virus, uh, but now that they've opened it up to self-employed people, it probably changed, so. Right, right. And if you go to sba.gov, I can, like the actual real site, because I can buy, I could be, buy SBA. Seven dot two. You know, I can go buy those web links and put anything I want there. So I think um, so. One, you, you have the change of this whole crazy pandemic, and then two, I cannot find anything. The only thing I did find, which I thought was interesting, on the CARES Act, is on page one. Um, it talks about it referencing. And I have not gotten to the point of going all the way back. But when you get these, um, Gary, there's, uh, it says addresses in the middle of this library page and, or well, the rules and regulations page. And I would look that up because maybe it's referencing something that they pre-decided. But when you call, yeah. that's not the answer we're getting, you know? Okay. So the papers you just showed there, you printed off of SBA.gov? These are the rules and regulations off the federal. They came off the, um, it's so tiny. Isn't that So sad? that's an application page? This, somewhere along the line, these pages, says authenticated US government information GPO. These are these are part of the federal register. Well here you could type in probably federal register volume 85. Okay. Um number 73 Wednesday April 15th 2020. So these were the changes that they made on April 15th and I think what happened with with the change is, you know, how we all think it's the fifteen or the ten thousand grant coming from uh, SBA. I think they made the change here. Mm -hmm. I think that change where they decided to only give a thousand dollars per employee happened in this set of papers. I can't find it, and I have read them numerous times, but. Um, that's why I think we were all confused on that because that change comes, came after we were all into the situation. So I would check that out, but I will try to find them and get them posted up on my website. I usually save that stuff to a file when I find it. Okay. So you. you betcha. Anybody else?
my my puppies are trying to um, protect me, so I apologize. Uh, here's a message from Michelle. The pandemic unemployment insurance open to gig economy of which independent beauty consultants fall in this category. Everyone qualifies now. Great. So um, the PUI insurance, this is the number that she suggests. Everyone qualifies now in Michigan. So this is maybe Michigan. Consumers Energy has opened a business center to answer and assist all business owners with assistance and understanding the government programs. So maybe you could call that this number, I don't know if you all see it, but it's 800-805-0490. And uh, Mary Sharon Howell says, even without having ordered 5,000 wholesale in a year, yeah, I think I think if you have, if you are putting it as a business on your taxes, I don't know what's required to do that, but I think, um, yes, if you if you or your consultant, it was, it was kind of sad to see them maybe not start with a hundred employees and less for a lot of, I have like some friends who do landscaping and you know, he's an, he's a guy and he's just, he doesn't want to do the paperwork and um, just trying to keep his family employed. And he just got overswept in the whole deal because these big, big, big companies came in and took all that, those dollars, you know, so that's kind of sad. But, but I, I, do, I definitely feel like when I'm talking with people, they didn't even think about unemployment. So can you guys maybe, I know some of you I can't see, but the ones I can see, if you didn't know you could apply for unemployment, can you put your hand up? Yeah, and I, I think we are just so used to getting through, you weren't even aware that that's an option. <laughs> Thanks, Nelly. Um, because I don't think that, you know, we're just taught, go, you know, go sell something, go get, get the business. But right now it's going to take a while though. He applied for unemployment on March 15th. And I think yesterday was the first day we seen movement in the website after we uploaded and got all our information in. So, so even if you don't think you'll need it in a month, it's really something to consider right now. And it's definitely something to share with your consultants that PUI insurance, that's, you know, $2,400. If she doesn't need the money, she could certainly put it towards inventory right now <laughs> and have the business even sitting in a better spot than it was. Um, okay, so anybody have questions on that? Then I wanna share with you what we're doing for you and your people on the um, lookbook situation. We're good? Okay, let me get a mouse here. Um, this was another sheet, just this is on the website and this just came from a friend uh, in our chamber locally and it had the PPP with the EIDL. I will tell you though, I'm, I've been on multiple sites where <laughs> banks have reworded uh, some of the information, even the state of Michigan site, they reworded some of the information. So I go to sba.gov and then I look on the Michigan site. I'm like, that is completely wrong. I, because you have to go from the information on sba.gov. That is the, comp, you know, that is the, the program. So just keep in mind, like there's, these are, I have not vetted these people. I don't know if this is completely correct, but I, I found it interesting because I felt a little misled on the up to 15,000 for the EIDL loan. Applicants can also apply for a cash advance of $1,000 an employee and if up to 10,000 appropriately will not be, will not need to be paid back. But if you go, if, if you call them, 
that to me is misleading. That looks like they're going to get $1,000 per employee plus get the other money. But when we called, um, my guy told me that you guys would be eligible for the full $10,000. Uh, Farrell Norton talked with them and was told she would only get 1000 per employee. But don't forget the people that you pay on as your assistants. I know some of you have websites and some of you have um, me and you may have an in-house assistant. So just keep in mind, like when you're talking with them, you may think, well, no, it's just me. Well, no, you take care of a lot of other people too. Yeah. And we're grateful. I'm grateful for you. Um, okay. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, that's the thing with the consultants. We just want to really, I, I think everybody freezes in times like this. That's not my normal nature. In times like this, I, I just start flipping. What do we do next? You know, so um, rather than freeze, let's try to walk them through a plan. I'm talking about your people and not let them freeze right now. If, if it were me, I would be getting into your text and email system. And I would be letting them know, just like I'm letting you know, let them know that you're there for them. Let, and, and that doesn't mean you're there financially for them, right? Because you have enough on your plate too, but you're there for them to help them figure out ways to get through these things and being able to share with them, um, you know, and maybe they just don't want to do the paperwork on the PPP. It really wasn't hard. It was it was two pages long and and you had to get together you'll probably have to get together your taxes i had to pull a lot of other stuff but um get you know getting together their taxes turning in the two pages who knows it may not work but it might work and if she i believe my saving grace because i went i bank at two different banks and i bank at a really big bank and i have a small bank that i bank at and he took me so much more serious the big bank, she even told me, well, go online and apply for the PPP online. She had no clue what she was talking about. You can't get the PPP loan online. That's, if they're telling you that, that's wrong. So, um, so I just felt very fortunate that our banker was, he just knows what he's doing with, with the little bank. And um, although he did say to me, if they're all this long, Shannon, pray for me. <laughs> It's like, because it's a lot of just numbers and it was his first one. So, um, so, you know, it's, it just is what it is. Okay. So let's talk about what we're going to do for your consultants now. So this is something you'll be able to connect with them about to, let me, I just need to get you guys sharing my screen. I'm hoping I'm not breaking up. I live in the country. And so, okay, good. Yay, because the last ones have been pretty sad. So, you know, just going back to make sure that you get in touch with your banker, take a look at your unemployment agency online, read some stuff about that there. And um, the SBA.gov, I just think if it pops up and I, that's a no-brainer to me. Even if it is only a thousand dollars per person, it's a super simple form. That form is super simple. One of the directors did a walkthrough with her accountant, and I will get that link and put it on our pink post too, so you can see when they're filling it out. She's, I, I think, Rachel Bullock, maybe. Um, but you can see how they did that and what they their suggestions were. Obviously. Uh, you know, I don't know the disclaimer on that one, but she's just sharing. It's just sharing information. You have to be so careful nowadays. So I, you know, just that's all we're doing is sharing information, ideas, thoughts, and happy to take anybody else's on here if you have them. Um, EIDL is a forgivable loan. I don't think I don't think that's correct. I think if you go to the website and you look up the EIDL, that one is a 3.75% interest loan. Other than they initially give the first 10,000, that's a grant. After that, if you do get it, 
after that, then you pay back a three point. I've, I've read a 3.75. You can apply for both. We've got some questions. Um, the PPP can be up to, it can be forgiven. This is what I understand. The PPP loan is a forgivable loan if you use 75% of that loan towards your, um, toward your payroll and 25% you can use for mortgage interest, um, mortgage interest, things that keep your business running. Mortgage, there's three things, there's three main things. I don't know if it's on this sheet or not. Can you guys tell I'm animal lovers? The cats were in my video the other day, the dogs are out here barking. I, I'm not sure, but if the PPP loan is not used, if it is not used for what, what you say you're going to use it for, they will take 1% uh, interest on it. So, you know, oh, thanks, Jenny. Um, it's the PPP loan, the 25% is rent, utilities, mortgage interest, um, and that's it. So 25% can go towards that and then 75% towards the other. It was suggested by my banker that we put our PPP loan in a separate account. And anytime I'm transferring money out of there, I'm, I'm tail, you know, keeping good track so that when we go back afterwards, we don't have to go. Uh, do you put sole proprietor or independent contractor? I would have to know what form, Lillian. And I think you could list either. Um, yeah, so I think um, there was another question. Are we individually as directors or are we on our own payroll? That was, um, if you watch the, I really suggest going and watching um, Ari's video that we've got posted. She breaks it down a little more, but I, I really think you have to point you back to call your accountant, say we're doing this, you pay them, they should be able to walk you through these things in times like this. You, you count, you count. So that's what I would suggest doing for sure. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. And Gwen, you're on my screen. So can you see my screen now? It's got the unit assistant. I can. Okay, great, thank you. So what we did is we offered, um, actually this is gonna be through June 1st. So I know it was just crazy that um, we're not gonna have a PCP mailing. So I wanted to, uh, you know, my brain goes into, okay, what can we do to help everybody? So what we did was your people can go and sign up until June 1st, it, it'll be free until June 1st for them. And we will do a PCP mailing uh, digitally. So digitally in text and email, we'll load all their customers over, we'll put them in this system and they will get started. So they just basically need to go to the unitassistant.com page and click on, um, Let's refresh this page because I think it looks differently now. Yeah, it's changed. See, we updated it. <laughs> I was on the old one. So what you can do is if you're in a unit meeting or you're um, on a Zoom, you could even come here under unit assistant, go to customer communication, and it would be my suggestion you just play this video on this page for them. So they know what so they know what the system is but most of you are familiar and if if you're a director and you don't have the customer side yet go ahead and shoot on over and at the top it says i already have unit assistant fill those boxes in and then you don't have to fill the rest of the form in just fill that top box in and then we'll we'll just get it set up for you but what they're going to get is we're going to do all our normal customer stuff. They're going to get a customer newsletter. They're going to get the product promotion. Um, 
I'll take you to the sample. They can see samples by clicking here. Maybe. <laughs> here we go. So their customers will get a text message with the customer newsletter the first week of May. So that customer newsletter is sent out to them. Then they will also get a mid-month product promotion. We will also, it's not in this, it's not in this screen, but we're also going to do a PCP with the, a ver, you know, the kind of like a virtual lookbook. Once they post the new one, we, we don't have it, so I can't show you. Once we have the new lookbook, we'll be doing that email and text, but we'll also cover their birthday um, to their customers and their anniversaries to their customers too. So this system does all of that for them. In addition to that, she will be able to send her own text messages and emails out of the back end of, uh, I, I don't know what we call this, communication center. So she can go in and send sales, communicate with people uh, in her customer base right now, even just getting a message out saying, we're here for you, or I'm here for you as your consultant. If you need anything, let me know. Even on the side of, Maybe she isn't even doing a sale. Maybe she's just letting them know it's crazy times right now. Do you need anything or can I help you in any way? Support you, I guess should be more the word. Is there anything I can do to support you? You know, so just keeping that rapport with even her customers. What we did is you could go right now to my consultants if you have this program. And you could select all your consultants and we put this in your back end and it's called message for consultants only and it basically if this is something you want your people to know about you can go in and pop this out to your entire consultant base and it tells them all about it but um we didn't just want to assume that you wanted that to go out so i would suggest you bop in there if you want them to know about it and this will tell them all about it and they can go there or of course you can do your zooms and maybe have this as a feature but if they are still promoting the product people are shopping the other day i had um a girlfriend of mine she owns a uh, a quilt shop in town here and we're a little town and she right now she's kind of like she has to be closed because she can't have people in and Michigan, Michigan's just crazy right now. Anyhow, <laughs> you guys are seeing it all over the news, but, um, but she could do curbside delivery. And so she just opened for one afternoon and she normally does a couple hundred, you know, two, 300. I, I always tell her she should sell Mary Kay, but she, um, she does a little bit and she did over $800 in like four hours. People have money, they're not going anywhere. And, you know, so don't worry about sharing because some people have already gotten their unemployment. Some people have figured out their other, their, their, you know, they got the stimulus and now they're talking about doing another check this month. And, you know, Walmart was more busier than ever with everybody rolling out with a TV, you know, so, um, so there is money and, this what i like about this system is it pushes this out to her customers even if the consultant or direct may not be feeling like there's enough money when when the orders start coming in from this they're like oh oh really oh people do have money they are willing to buy a cleanser and and it's a small ticket item right it's it lipstick so just fyi this is on here, it's under um, communication center. And like I said, if you are a director, what you can head over and make sure you, you'll, you put your name in the top and we'll get you started on that program too. And what I did for the prospecting area is we just opened that up for everybody. So for every director and consult and consultant, they'll get both those, both those options to use. Okay, so that tells you about that. And I'm not gonna play the video, but if you go to unit assistant and you click on that customer communication, that video is really good, you guys. Taylor made it and it's 
it's phenomenal. Both the girls have been, Olivia's been hardworking at all your printing stuff and house and, um, and of course the whole team is, but we're just dispersed a little bit. Everybody's within 20 miles of each other, but we're still on it and we're still trying to do our best. And if, if, if we haven't gotten back to you, go ahead and re-email us and let us know um, because the, you know they're a little deep, but we're, we're getting to them. Okay, anybody got any questions? I do, this is Mary Kay. Um, Shannon, how is this, or have you tuned into what Mary Kay's doing with Scipio? And I know nothing about Scipio, but it sounded similar, and I wondered if I had questions from my consultants about that, I wouldn't know, have any idea. You know how Mary Kay's going to partner with Scipio and it'll happen in July or something? Do you know anything about that? Or Yeah. Does that so, with um, your I don't know a lot about what they're going to offer you. I, I know from hindsight, um, I know what we're able to give is we give, we give the work done for you. You know, we give the customer newsletter designed for you. We, we send out birthdays and anniversaries that we've put together for you. We, we do the work. I, you have the platform to use, but, um, you know, I think, uh, unless, I think you're going to be required to make that, you know, customer newsletter if you want to post it or, so I, I guess that's the difference. We're the assistant too right now. And I'm not sure, I, does anybody else know anything different? Yes, um, Shannon, I used them for a while. I thought they were very hard to use. And the problem is if you don't watch at that point, it was $99 a month and that really adds up. So your system was easier to use to send out the text. Thank you for making it easier. And the support was easier to get. So thank you. Good. Well, that's thank our goal. You, thank you so much for, for um, saying that because um, uh, it just, you know, is nice to know if you have somebody ask you a question, you can answer it intelligently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not real sure of, I, I don't, I'm not real sure of her, their platform or anything like that, but I just want you to know that we're, uh, we're always building ours to suit you. So if you have questions, because it's built from the ground up. We have a developer and um, our goal is to, I, it really is for it to be super simple, like just no brainer, easy to use. And we did build in the back, um, on the website, if you go to this how to button, that how to button will show you the videos are one to two minutes long. And there's a ton of them on how to do things. So right now, while you're home and not when, when you're not holding your virtual parties, right? Um, I would really strongly suggest you go check those out. And if you have questions, just let us know in the office that they're really great information. And then this is Rachel. Um, I'm just curious too, I'm trying to get on if I'm wanting to let my consultant see the video that you were talking about, about the program, where do I'm on the website right now? Where do I find that again? So you would want to click them all. I'll show you. Maybe I can show you. Let me shrink this. So, so you my consultant. did you guys see where we added the pictures? You can load your pictures of your consultants on the left. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. I don't know, it must be the eye in me for that piece because that's not normally me, but you can put it. Um, so you'd go and you'd click everybody you want to send it to or all, and then click the create button. And once you get to the create button, it's going to bring you here. And this choose a predefined message at the top. You guys able to see my screen all right? Yes. Um, have to. Um, when you choose that predefined message, it's at the bottom, the very last one, and it says message for consultants only. Got it. 
Okay. And then that will pop their name in there and tell them all about it. And the video is actually in there. They just basically have to click and it will pull them out to watch the video. And okay. I'm hoping with them being able to have that for that, that month free. Um, gosh, my camera moved. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that, you know, having it free till June, they'll really be able to get in there and play around with that and see, you know, see how it all works. Thank you so much for walking me through that. Yeah. Shannon, well, how much does it run after, if they were to ask that, because I haven't looked at that yet, how much does it run after June? It's $29.99. Great. So night. on June 1st, if they keep it, it'll run, um, it'll do all those things for them. But the other key piece is they can get into their customers. And I would say that's a little bit of a comparison too. We have unlimited text messaging. So if you wanted to do some comparison there, you I don't limit your consultants texting. They could send one a day, they could send 12 a day, I or you know, or 12 a week or 12 a month. I don't limit their um I don't limit it. And in another package, it's limited. And so for $29.99 a month, they get all of that information sent on the behalf of them. And many people are busy. They don't even think to go in and they don't want to create and they don't, you know, I just want it done. So for that, it, it is a little more money, right? A month, but they get it all done for them. Mm -hmm. So, and and it's not, I don't know what the price is after 500 texts on the other plan. So, Shannon. Um, yes, ma'am. Good morning. I'm Marcia da Costa. Um, with, with your service, I've been using it now for nine years, I believe, or 10, because I'm a director for 10 years. I tried, um, I did do Scipio, and what I didn't, well, because I'm special. So you have to input all these stuff in it, and then you only can do a limited amount. So, you know, the customer service is not there. You call them and they would call you about like two or three days later. And it is just hard when you are doing something and you want a question answer and you have to wait for days. Then when they call you, I forget. I don't know about nobody else, but I forget. And if you go over even one, over what they give you, it could really um, go up to a, a really crazy amount because there was money they take like two hundred and seventy five dollars out my account, and it take it take the bank over thirty days or to get that money back. So again, um, with Mary Kay going to do it, I don't know what it's going to cost, but it's so important for us to take the time to read and what's best for us, then we have to focus on that. For me, it's customer service, which I really appreciate you. And people who gonna be there for you when you needed them, not just there because of a business. So, well, I thank you. I that, Marsha. We, we do our best. We certainly try to do our best. Um, sometimes it gets a little crazy, you know, but we, uh, if, you, if you're not getting, if, if you haven't gotten a call within 48 hours, for sure, something isn't right with us. It's a 40 ish, nothing should ever go over 48 hours business days. Uh, the rule is really 24 hours in our office, but like with this pandemic, we were, you know, we ran a little longer because everything was just crazy. So, um, so that is, if, if you do not hear back from us within that time, uh, something's just off, it's not right. So somebody asked if I'd show like the customer's piece. So normally as a director, you get this consultants tab. Um, then the customer piece is here. So we basically, of course, I don't know, I'm using a fake account right now. I don't even know if there'll be people in that customer one, but you know, it's as quick and easy as just um, clicking those buttons. See, I don't have anybody loaded in there, but then there's a prospects area and that, you can really use to your advantage. The other thing somebody mentioned is ours is not only text, it's email. So I don't know how many people use the email portion 
of what we do, but um, but you get you know you get both options. And I will just share a little. I have something so exciting coming, you guys. I don't know. Do you think I should share it on here, or should we pull another meeting together? It's getting kind of I late would in love the game. To share it. <laughs> <laughs> so share, share, we're. Share. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, the uh, <laughs> Jody jumped up on my screen. Um, so you know, you can do a text message, you can do an email. What would you think if you could do a postcard? Oh, oh I would love that. So if you could actually do a postcard and have a box where you typed and then pick the card that you wanted to send maybe to your new red jacket or, and we just took care of that and you didn't have to do anything. It just went out tomorrow. Mm. That'd be awesome. Great job. Thank you. And that, that would be awesome. So it would be like a, a scripted version and then we'd put your signature on it and print the card and mail them the next day so we are in we are hard working on that for you and that i think is going to be um i you know just to be able to pick a card and type you know two messages to your red jackets and they mail out and you didn't have to do it it's not exactly a handwritten card right but um it is you know it is a it's a thinking of you card that's in your words, which I personally love that idea. So, but yet the director doesn't have to order in cards and she don't have to go get stamps and you don't have to get it to the post office. And it's right here in the back end of your communication center. So you just, mm. you know, would do it. So that is our next venture. And I don't know, it could be four weeks out. It could be, it could be three months. I don't know how they do all that, but that's what we're working on. Okay, ladies, unless you've got any other questions, but really like jump in your communication center, please watch those videos on that website. Those how to's are going to make all the difference for you using this and they're, they're right here and you can take the consultants, um, well, you don't even have to take them. You just have to log into your communications center, click all your consultants and pick that predefined message, which is for the consultants right now. And then I don't know, I'm pretty positive our system can handle big numbers, but I do know those of you that are on here may wanna get your people signed up pretty quick because I, I we've never tested big numbers. I think we'll be fine, but I don't know how many we can take until we may not be able to do it. So you never know until you put it out there. And, you know, we, we have done some test runs some, with some really big areas and it didn't seem to overload. They all came through, we got everybody, but I would just, I'd do it today and, and get your people in. And I, I'm sure this video will get, well, we're gonna actually share this video out to everybody. But I really pray that that, that until June, I think if we can keep their businesses consistent with communication, we're going to be able to support a lot of people here. I do have to give a shout out. This is Mary Kay. Uh, Shannon, um, I needed help uh, yesterday. Yes, you know, like timely help, like immediately. And he mm -hmm. was so good and got back. Michael was so good and got back to me. And so I was able to get the communication I needed to get out yesterday that I was having trouble with. And I just appreciate, you know, and he didn't even feel that great. He sounded like he had a cold, but anyway, he did it anyway. So I appreciate it. Yeah, he's really great. Our staff has been amazing. They really got on board and they've really been there to support you guys. And that's because we, we value you and care. So we, um, we hope that everybody is safe and feeling well. And, and if you need anything, please reach out. You guys have a great day. Have a good lunch today and I will um, we'll keep you in the know if we hear anything else. That's